Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Kevin. And Jenna Lynn and I are in a little town at the bottom of Negros Oriental. Or I don't even know if this is, could be Negros Occidental because this island is split in half. But uh, we're in a town called Bioan. And Jenna Lynn and I are always looking to travel to new cities and, and maybe find a new place to live if we ever decide to move. And today, I'm fortunate enough to sit down with my new friend, Lewis, who uh, I just met. Uh, through, uh, he's a friend through a friend, and we've been having a good time this morning. And Lewis is from the U.S., and he's he's been in Bioan. It'll be eight years in April. So, Lewis, first of all, thank you very much for letting me do this. Thank you. And where are you from? Let everybody know. I'm from the uh, U.S. I'm from uh, Pennsylvania, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. So you're coming from cold <laughs> to the equator. <laughs> so was that a big change? Was that hard to get used to? Very big change. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's warm here, and yeah. the sun is very big. You guys are going to see that. Uh, my next video, I'm going to have uh, the sunset and sunrise, and it's just beautiful here. But Lewis is one of the rare people on this island one of the rare expats who didn't come through Dumaguete. You came straight to Baiwan, didn't you? Yep. Okay. What year did you do that? Uh, 2015. 2015. Yep. So you've been here a long time. A long and, time. And what made you choose Baiwan? How did you even find this place? Well, first we had to go back to where I met my wife. I met my wife through uh, the internet. Okay. Um, what online. company? What, which, which site? Just in case. Um, Date in Asia dating was the app, the, the online dating site. It was Date, Date in Asia. And that's where I met her at. And one thing led to another. And she, uh, this is where she from. Actually, she lived in Manila at the time while I was talking to her. But Bayawana is where she was from. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I met her. And then, you know, I. Before that, I did research and everything. I did my homework. I searched, you know, the middle, the Philippines and checked uh, geography, topography, everything about the Philippines. And you know, it's it's something I wanted to do a long time ago when I was young. And you know, but Bayawan wasn't on your radar. Bayawan, yeah, yeah. Bayawan was not on my radar. I mean, but most people have heard of Manila, maybe Cebu, something Manila like that. Manila actually was the one place where. I've heard, you know, it was famous and everything, you know, I always heard Manila this and Manila that. And, uh, but yeah, my, my wife, it's, she's from Bayawan and when I met her online and everything, it's one thing led to another and, and here I am. Now, was she the first one you met? How long the process was this? Did you run into some scammers? I mean, did you, you yes. know, have the girls who wanted tuition or had to, had their grandmother's liver replaced because <laughs> one of her livers were bad? I ran into, in that same site, I ran into a couple of Filipinas, um, but they were all young. Young meaning 18, but in, in the teens. And um, maybe 20s or 30s, maybe one of them that I was talking to. But Sandra was the only one that was more mature. She was in her 30s. And like mid 30s, like right in the between. Like, and um, she was the only one that was mature, she made sense. You know, I didn't want anything young and nothing old. It was, she was perfect. And then one thing led to another and that's how we met, you know. And then I, I, I didn't want, you know, it, I did land in Manila and that's where we met in the airport. And we, you know, we sat in a hotel and everything. And then from there, we, it was uh, from a flight from there to Domegeti and then here to Bayawan. But yeah, that's where, you know, I didn't even explore Manila. It was just because at that time I came, I came in uh, Semana Santa. It was the Holy Week. So oh, really, we can't, everything yeah. was closed and it, we can't do much. So we stayed in the hotel all that time until we got to Domeguete and came here. So There are two weeks you don't want to travel. A Holy Week is one and <laughs> yes. then the other one is the election week and yes. then day of the week day of the dead or whatever yep. we were in Ilo Ilo for that and good luck trying to find a restaurant oh, open or anything it was nuts yep. and uh, so i forgot to ask this how old of a fellow are you lewis i mean you look relatively young <laughs> and when you. we're talking 2015 when you came over here yep. so how old how old were you then how old are you now 
and then we can, Actually, we can do I, the math. When I came at 2013, I looked older than this, and somehow eight There's years a later, to the Philippines. It, it, I look. Uh, well, I've been here eight years. It took eight years younger. Let's put it that way. Okay. Um, so how, I, how I'm old gonna are be. You? I'm 52 now. I'm gonna be 53 in December. And, and so you came over here in 2015. 2015. So you were 44, 43 ish, 44 when you I came was, over. Yeah, I came uh, 2015. I came in uh, April. So you're way too young to get Social Security. Are you dealing drugs or anything to get by now? I mean, how no. are you able to, uh, it's to retire personal. this? It's, it's more of a PTSD situation. Oh, okay. I've been in. So you're military. No. Ex-military? No, no, or no? It, it's more personal. It's, it's, I've been oh. through a lot. It's, okay. it's, it's not, you know, it, it's not like you hear, you know, oh, it's crazy and it's not, it's not like that. It says, I, let's just say that I've been through a divorce that it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. Oh. You know, it, it's, it's, I had two kids, um, two boys and, um, I love them to death. I still do. And um, that put me through a lot of strain, you know, the divorce and everything. And put me in the hospitals a lot. Let's put it that way. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, I, I just couldn't handle work anymore. I used to be a truck driver over the road. Um, and I just couldn't do it anymore. I mean, I almost had an accident in one of those, you know, road trips I had. And I just mm -hmm. called it quits. I couldn't do it anymore. So how are you able to survive over here? Do you have any passive investments or or uh, anything? Just just a pension, just okay, uh, just disability. Pension. Okay, that's it. But I mean, you've gotten peace of mind since you've come here. Yes. Okay. I mean, Perfect. I had. It's it's just that it, the Philippines changed a whole lot for me. It's it's a new life, a new reality, a new a new life. I mean, I. I I know how I used to be when I was in the U.S., but here, it's just, it's, it's just, oh my, I, I don't know, I don't know how relaxed. to explain it, it's relaxed, it's, yeah. it, 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 it opens heaven's doors, I mean, you'll find peace and tranquility here. There you go, see, it's, I'm not lying to you guys, there you go, right here. It's very different, it's, it's, it's sublime, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a bliss, you know? <laughs> well, I'm glad everything's gotten so much better for you and I've met Sandra she's very pretty and very nice lady she and Jenna Lynn and uh, and Rose uh, Tim's fiance are all out in the pool right now having a great time yes. and I'm, I'm really happy that Lewis sat down with me because uh, I've talked to a couple people that, that uh, you know I deal with in Dumaguete and they're telling me that Bayawan could be the next Dumaguete and maybe 15 20 years I mean it's not now, you know, it's, it's a lot smaller. There is a nice little boardwalk, which I, we haven't been to yet. We're gonna go after this. Uh, there's a nice little boardwalk. It's slowly but surely growing. So I'm gonna uh, bend Lewis's ear and find out what he thinks. Um, you know, what about Western restaurants and things like that? It's by your one city is more up and coming. Is this they're getting their restaurants here more foreigner oriented, more towards them. Um, very good restaurants. There's one in um, in the boulevard. First of all, it's a very famous boulevard. It's one of one of the longest boulevards there is, and it's getting longer. They're building more of it and more upgrading. We're gonna check that out. Um, the other thing is the uh, Kotali Papa. And the boulevard it's a very famous um uh, boulevard restaurant um uh, people go there it has um live live um entertainment sometimes depends on the occasion maybe we'll eat there tonight yep and um but yeah i mean it's my young one is up and coming it's 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 if it keeps up the pace it's it, it's going to be probably i don't know about domigeti like close to domigeti but close enough it's it's very nice place to live in well, and Dumaguete has its issues with as many foreigners as we have. We're yes. driving up the rent. Yes. You know, I just put out a rental video two days ago, and this little two-bedroom, one-bath place is going for 28,000 pesos. Yeah. And it's it's a couple minutes' walk to the beach or whatever, but you know, we're talking $500 for something that eh, 
here, that's kind of pricey. But in Biowan, I mean, as far as real estate goes, you're renting now and you've got a one bedroom, one bath, correct? Yes. Now you don't have air conditioning, no. you don't have hot water, and no. you've been here long enough to where that doesn't phase you anymore to take no. a cold shower. I'm used to it. But, <laughs> and, I'm, and he's gonna let me do a video on his place tomorrow, but tell him what you're paying per month. I used to pay 4,000 a month. Now I'm at 5,500, and it's because of circumstances with the owner and uh, personal issues with the owner, with the health issues and all that. That's why I'm paying 5,500. But before it was 4,000, but it's really cheap. The rent here is really cheap. So right now with the conversion rate of 56 to one, you're literally talking a hundred bucks a month yes. for a one bedroom, one bath apartment, yep. you know, in the Philippines. Yep. And there's a beach, there's a beach right behind us. You can look behind Lewis. I right mean, behind you're, me. You're, you're in a beach community, so. You know, so you've said uh, there's the restaurants and everything are getting better. Um, you know, one good thing about Jimmy Getty, and it's a bad thing, is the expats. Expats are there, they're driving up the prices, but when you come into Jimmy Getty, there's so many expats there to where you can come in, you're gonna feel comfortable. You know, Lewis himself, he, you know, he's been sitting and chatting with me and, and my buddy Tim, and we must be the first expats you've seen in a while because <laughs> You know, he's just been going nuts. You know, he even looks back at Sandra and he's like, I found my people again, you know. <laughs> so he's been so happy to do that. But what, um, how is the expat population here? Are, are, are they abundant? I mean, would you say they're sparse? Would I get stared at if I lived here? Mm, you know, it's, what's it like? I've noticed through the years, a lot of expats are coming here more, like in Bayouan City, from Bayouan to here. I noticed that a lot of them are complaining about Bayouan, um, Domigeti this, Domigeti that, and a lot of them are more towards away from Domigeti and more towards Bayouan city. It's because it's more economical. It's, it's for econo sure. More economical here, and the people are different, more friendlier. It's, it's more peaceful, more relaxing, more laid back. Um, the the rent and the property here is actually a lot cheaper than uh, Domigeti. Um, um, but I, I, I recommend it. I well, highly recommend it. One of the big things for me is I'm, I'm a carnivore. I don't eat seafood. I don't eat many vegetables. You know, I, I, there was a time I didn't eat anything green or three syllables or more except potatoes. But I've, I've branched out a little. I now eat asparagus and I eat lettuce. I'll eat a salad, but I'm, I'm mainly eating some green stuff that's covered in salad dressing. But a big thing for me is I need good quality meat. And in Dumaguete, I've got bell crusts where I can get steaks, I can get good chops. Well, how's the meat here? I mean, we don't have to get it at a wet market, do we? I mean, is there a Robinson's or something in the mall? You still have to go to the Maggetti for that. Uh, oh, okay. For the good meats. You have to go to Robinson or you have to go to the Hypermart in the Maggetti. And those aren't good. And oh. they're not, yeah, it's... Not to me. Like, if you really, if you're not really into that, you wanna, you know, go like fish and all that and veggies and green stuff oh, you have it right here, here. exactly mean. it's right here but if you want to go for a good cheese and a good ham and good meat you have to go to Dumaguete for that yeah. and you know it's not that far away it's like two hour ride yeah two hours here. two hours on the bus is where it took us but yeah i mean now what's tuna go for a kilo do you know off the top of your head do you do the shopping or just actually Andrew? my wife does the shopping okay. but it's it, it, it's it's it, it kind of like it's a hit and miss, you know, it depends on the, on, the, on the weather. The weather plays a big role when it comes to selling fish here. If it's really bad weather, it's gonna be really bad. If it's good weather, fishermen go out, they do their fishing, their catch, they come back in and sell it at a good price. So it, it depends on the weather here. It's, and this, this is a big commercial. I mean, I've seen some, yes. we passed a river coming in and they had big boats. You see all the fishermen's yeah. boats there. Yeah. So I would imagine the, the, the fish markets or whatever, when when the weather it's, and everything's good, I bet you can get tuna and oh, it, it, marlin, it, some other things yes. at fantastic yes. prices. Okay. And we did mention them all just a second ago. Uh, we're gonna go check that out probably today. I haven't been in it. How does that mall stand up to an American mall? To Pure Gold, the Pure Gold Mall here, it's like a, more like a strip mall with a second floor kind of like that's how it is here oh, it's, okay. it's but in the Maggette had in the Maggette had to have a mall it's uh robinson's mall 
it's kind of the same way it's like a street mall but with two floors up and down um it, it's like it is a mall um but i really wish they had the sn mall here oh, i mean which yeah. is a, an actual mall like the u.s mall like it, it's a huge mall i mean we were just in Ilo Ilo, and it was four stories yeah. and but Galo actually has one mm -hmm. um but i really if they were to bring the sn mall here it would be great but the Robinson's Mall is pretty good, though. I mean, they have what you need and everything there, and, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Good sales. Okay. So, we were just talking about expats. Is there, um, I mean, do you see them? Is there a place Come where expats in, meet? It's, uh, you know, oh. Oh. So, sorry. Sorry, guys. My friend's screaming over in the pool there. <laughs> But uh, I was just saying, is there a place where expats meet? Um, is it easy to find them? I mean, what do you do for expat friends and things like that? In New Megiddy, you'll find them everywhere, like in the boulevard. In the, oh, in New Megiddy, I mean here. Yeah, but here. We're trying to sell buy one. If people want to come if you, and get away from the high expenses and everything of New Megiddy, to just come over here to a new little beach town, how many, how many foreigners do you see? And Tali Papa would be one of those places where you want to go. You'll, you'll see a foreigner or two here, but they're kind of sparse. They're, they're here. They're here, but every it's like kind of like bump into them. You see them in the market. You see them in Tali Papa in, the, in that um, restaurant in the, in the boulevard. Um, but they're but, here. I mean, you, you occasionally bump into them, but i say about, uh, about 50% maybe. Uh, you, you see them here. I mean, you're, they're from they're It's not like uh, the Megedi where you find them everywhere. Here, they're here. It's just that because it's not as too much like a city. They're like hitting. You, you see them going to the hardware store, or the market, or in Tali Papa or the Boulevard. You see them there, but you you see them. Now, when you act, when you see one, do you flash gang signs or anything, or go up and talk to them, <laughs> or you know, like hey? I noticed that know. about here in Bayouan, like. And then when I get to you see it, like you kind of like, you talk, you kind of just come in and, but here it's more like laid back, like, yeah, like kind of like a shyish way, like, are you doing anything yeah, like this, like, a head nod or something? Yeah, you know, like, like a head nod and, you know, if you like, if you like talking, like, no, but you want, it's more like a laid back place, nobody want to bother anybody, it's more like a, you know, if you feel like, okay, hi, hey, hey, how you doing? It's kind of like, like that, but they're here, I mean, they're all, you see them around. Now, last but not least, um, a lot of a lot of my viewers are coming over here. They're single men, and they're going to be looking for women. Uh, Dumaguete, we're a dime. Foreigners are a dime a dozen. We're nothing special. If foreigners come here, will they actually be something special? Will they be a novelty, an oddity, to where girls come up or maybe you know and talk to them? Yeah, here it's like a oh. like a. Like a like a star, like a movie star. Like when they come here, it's you're gonna get your your looks. You're gonna you know I mean you're gonna get whiplash you know from them you know because they're gonna look twice and be like oh wow. wow. And usually when you're fresh meet when they see you, you're here for the first <laughs> time, they know who's who here. I mean they know if you're new or not. Oh yeah. They'll know because trust me they'll know. And you're gonna get recognized really fast. You're gonna get bombarded. Wow. You heard it here, guys. That's uh. And that's a big thing. Like I said, you know, when I first started yeah. watching some bloggers and everything about Dumaguete and all that, they, they, they said it was kind of the same thing there, you know, or even in Cebu. You could just walk through a mall in Cebu and yeah. girls would come up. That didn't happen. It was kind of like that in Ilo Ilo once you got out in the provinces. Yeah. But Dumaguete, we are nothing special. Yeah. But there you go. You heard it from him. Come in here. They're going to know. When you get here, they're going to know. And that's a, that's a good thing and a bad thing. So you don't want to it's, burn any bridges when you first get here. Don't, you know, you don't want to be a player either. But, you know, you are, you're going to be special, which yes. is a cool thing. So that's really, uh, really good to know. Lewis, I really appreciate you letting me do this. Is there anything that you can throw out there for my viewers that uh, I didn't bring up that uh, could be helpful to them? It's going to be awkward at first because if, you're, if this is your first time here, and you're not used to getting uh, getting any attention in the U.S. Here, you are going to get attention. I mean, it doesn't matter where you come from or whatever. You go, you're going to get attention. I mean, you, you're going to be a. If you weren't popular in the U.S., you're popular here. Wow. <laughs> you're a rock star here, basically. Wow. That's great to know. Yep. So, 
again, well, fantastic again. Like I said, thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad we got My to pleasure. meet and everything. And and like I said, if you two want to come up to Bakong where we are, we've got the extra room. You got can hang out. You know, we we've got some common friends, and so we can all have a big party. But uh, thank you, Mer thank you very much. If you guys have any uh, questions for Lewis, just put them in the comments section below. I'm going to tell Lewis to go in and read the comments, and he can answer anything like that. And if not. You know, that's, uh, I appreciate you watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And for now, uh, have a great day or great night wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Thank you.